Hi, now in this tutorial we'll be seeing the properties of a data set or when you type in 3.4 option and you list for a data sets so you would be you need to you need to know which is which data set it is a PDS or which data set is a PS file so by looking at this by looking at the name you might understand so this is the PDS uh, PDS and this is a data set but sometimes there will be a data set created so that you may not know that is a PDS or PS file so let me create one uh, data set uh, two data set so first I can say this is as a PDS one okay but but indirectly but this is a PS file right so again come back and uh, go to 3.4 just press enter so you can see PDS and PDS one so by looking at this I may assume like this is a PDS file but while creating this data sets it's it is it is named as a p it is uh, we created it as a ps file so you can see the difference right so to avoid this confusion and to check uh, to how do we identify this is the ps file or this is the pds file just as as we have seen it there were the different command options for browse view edit rename or delete right in order to check the system properties I mean data set properties sequential data set properties or the I mean of data set properties just type yes here and enter you can see the data set name you can do uh, different screen has popped up data set information uh, you can see management class storage class serial number uh, organization is a ps file record format as fixed block record length as 80 directly blocks extends tracks and so on when was the date created and everything how many tracks it has been allocated and uh, extends so all different properties you can see with this organization you can understand so this is a PS file that is physical sequential file right so now we'll go and check the properties of this by typing yes command here and you can see this as PO that time that and also the data set name type as PDS and it has a directory blocks I mean sorry uh, you can see the primary and secondary and the length the fixed block everything remains same but organization and the data set name types it differs so that in this way you can identify this as a PDS data set okay so this is how we differentiate or we can identify which is a PS file and which is a PDS file so here we created the name as PDS one but what is this do you think it is a PDS file just check the properties and see no it is not a PDS but it is a PS file with fixed block of 80, 80 length and allocated tracks is 50 and extended allocated extends are 1 so this is how we see a data set properties so this is the one way of checking the properties and other way uh, is you have an uh, on the keyboard you have several function keys right so f1 to f11 and f12 so just if you press f11 so you can see the other in information you can see this information tracks used and uh, the data used in this data set and again press f11 and you can see the data set organization and the record format record length and the block size and you can see the information like uh, uh, block wise I mean the column wise information but it gives you the information that what are the information you have seen using properties the same information you can see but column wise by pressing function F10 and F11 F10 will come backward and F11 will come goes forward and it will show you the information so use press F10 and F11 option to see the properties normally we use this uh, whenever the data set uh, is fully loaded and uh, there is no space available on this then we check simply press F11 and see okay how many tracks it was allocated or how many cylinder it is allocated and how much percentage this is used and how many extension it has right so make practice of using s and also s command here and also the f10 and f11 option okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video uh, or you wanted to post any comments and further updates you want if you, if you are interested to know any other topics on the uh, tutorials please do comment thank you so much for watching this video please do subscribe to my channel